Hey YouTube, it's Appalachian ADV Rider here again, coming to you with another unboxing. I, I had to, I have to unbox this quick because I have things to do and I, I want to carry this knife. So got another package in. Um, I actually got it in earlier and I was about to open it. And I said, no, I'm going to save this. Oh, I guess I did. Uh, I was going to save this for the channel. So anyway, let's get this thing open. This is so exciting. It's like Christmas time. I don't know if you all... I guess you all know what that feels like, right? Look at this amazing packaging. All right. What is it? What? What is it? All right, before we do that... Um, I'm not going to advertise. Anyway, got it from somebody. All right, look at this box. You know what this box is, right? It's another hinderer. There's a pattern here. Here's a hinderer. Here's a hinderer. Oh, and today's carry. Another hinderer. All right, let's get going. I because I got things to do. What is it? Oh my god. Yes. 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 <laughs> do you see this? Ta -da! Dun, 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 uh, let's look at the box first. This is a Hinder XM18 three and a half inch auto in full tie. I think they only come in full titanium. So this is about the same price as this if you upgrade it to the tie scale. So it's actually, you know, pretty reasonably um, priced. Amanda Yoder. Like from Star Wars, right? Yoda? There you go. Amanda. I'm assuming that's a woman, so pardon me if I got that incorrect, but here we go. All right, let's measure it. Can you got it? Let's let's go and check this out. This is eight inches. This is you know the same eight and a quarter inch, depending upon how you uh you know how you how you hold it. It's got that same slant to it. Um I love this working finish. I'm just, I'm assuming this is a working finish. Uh, man, it's just a great finish. I guess there's a, a finger choil here. I don't know. It's it's pretty darn close to that edge. Um, so I'll, I'm not going to use it. I, I mean, I don't really... I, I get these guys who talk about, you know, they need a finger choil. They want to get right up, up against it. I guess if you're out in the woods and you're feather sticking and you're doing it for hours... You need uh you need that grip, but you know every day for me it's uh, no big deal. Man, I like this. This has got some weight. Oh yeah, all right. I'm all over the place. I got I got somewhere to go. Let's go ahead and check out the weight. Mm -hmm. This is five point six ounces. Or 159 grams. And this XM. But this is a fatty. Hmm. Oh, it's even more. 169. And 6 ounces. Oh, check that out. <laughs> 5.6 versus 6. Hmm. I do like. I do like the weight of this one. He had to sound there. Anyway. It's not about this. So there you go. 5.6 ounces and you know you saw the grams um man this is nice what else so it's got that you know typical pocket clip it's got this you know the same lanyard hole i um this here is not proprietary this is you use a spanner tool with the size 12 um i mean everything looks standard here 
Let's see inside um, the scale it's a little hollowed out so there's some weight reduction there I mean as you see it was lighter than the other one uh, the jimping here it's not it's not real harsh at all it's only on the blade not on the um, sides so, th so that would you know make some people happy uh, yeah I like the feel of it don't get me wrong I like the feel of this knife. I always like this handle. This handle is sloped downwards. Um, I just love the way that feels. But I have just gotten into the Eclipse. And I'm going to tell you, I'm really starting to prefer this handle. More about that later. Check out my unboxing and review. This one here I'm going through, or the other one, I'm going through some changes with it. Follow the story when I finally get it posted. I don't think it's posted yet. So anyway, all right, here we go. XM18, um, flipping action. Not bad, not not real. I keep on trying to open it. Not real strong, but I mean, I don't think there's a problem. Oh, they say the test with these things are, will it spring back from this position? And that answer is no. Huh, look at that. Okay. So inside here, there is a um, spring and there's holes in the blade and you can adjust the tension to that. So, um, but right now this is new. I'm assuming it's on washers. Uh, so, you know what? I'm just not going to judge it right at the moment. It hasn't been greased or anything like that. And I think I remember um, another review saying that it got a little bit better with time. There's not a lot of reviews on this on uh, YouTube yet, which is great. So, hey, I'm going to be one of the first guys. So, anyway, um, this is an unboxing. I don't really have, uh, I haven't carried this knife. I mean, as you see, I just got the knife. So, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. So, it's very similar to this. It weighs a little bit less. Um, same shape. The blade is in 20 CV. Working finish, real nice sturdy tip here. Um, all right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. It helps uh, with the algorithm, it helps me grow this channel. And um, if you wanna see more of it coming, please help me out. All right, thank you very much and I will see you all later.